England's Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has been meeting with Arab outside authorities to look for a political answer for the contention in Yemen. In any case, the discussions comes days after the British Army inadvertently uncovered that it is subtly preparing Saudi troops that are being sent to Yemen. In front of the meeting, Johnson stated, the UK is facilitating this imperative gathering on Yemen since it is fundamental that we increase endeavors to work towards a manageable political answer for the contention. Since the start of the emergency the UK has assumed a main part in strategic endeavors and we will keep on doing so. The individuals who are experiencing most this contention are the general population of Yemen. RT reports, Saudi Arabia has been blamed by the UN for perpetrating wrongdoings against humankind in Yemen, where 130 kids are kicking the bucket every day from appetite and malady. This month, Saudi powers closed all passage focuses to the war-attacked nation to keep supplies from achieving healthy rebels, crushing the conveyance of outside guide to a stop and compounding the helpful emergency confronting Yemen's populace. The UK government has been scrutinized for its feeble reaction to the port terminations. Boris Johnson beforehand denounced the Syrian government for utilizing starve or surrender strategies. However, when Saudi Arabia closed ports and exchange courses into Yemen, judgment was not on the cards. Rather, Johnson simply sat down to talk with the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed Canister Salman to express his worry. Andrew Smith of Campaign Against Arms Trade CAAT, approached Theresa May's legislature to stand firm against the abominations. A repulsive helpful fiasco has been perpetrated on the general population of Yemen, and the improper barricade is exacerbating it even. Sustenance and therapeutic hardware isn't achieving the individuals who require it, putting a huge number of lives in danger, Smith said. In spite of this, and in spite of the abominations its powers have exacted on Yemen in the course of the last over two years, the Saudi administration has been given uncritical political and military help by Downing Street. It's the ideal opportunity for Theresa May and her partners to at long last stand firm by unmistakably and unambiguously requiring the bar to be lifted and finishing the arms deals which have fueled this horrendous war. UNICEF predicts that 150,000 youngsters could kick the bucket before the finish of 2017 because of the Saudi barricade. At the same time, information gathered by CAT demonstrates that British arms deals to Saudi Arabia have bounced 500 percent since the start of the Yemeni war in March 2015. Boris Johnson is facilitating outside priests from Saudi Arabia. Oman and the United Arab Emirates, and in addition the UN unique agent Ismail Cheikh Ahmed, and the US Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Thomas Shannon. Johnson said the UK will have the peace gathering as it may be imperative that we intensify endeavors to work towards a supportable political answer for the contention. Since the start of the emergency, the UK has assumed a main part in political endeavors and we will keep on doing so. The general population who are experiencing most this contention are the general population of Yemen, Johnson said. The blundering kind outside secretary's interests for peace have all the indications of crocodile tears, at any rate that is what it would appear that since the Daily Mail uncovered on Saturday up to 50 UK military workforce have been showing frontline abilities to Saudi officers conveyed in the Yemen struggle. The preparation mission which was codenamed Operation Crossways, was uncovered to people in general after the armed force discharged photographs and data online by botch. The mystery preparing operation included troops from 2nd Battalion the Royal Regiment of Scotland, educating sporadic fighting systems to officers from the Royal Saudi Land Forces Infantry Institute. Sporadic fighting is an aggregate name for strategies utilized by armed forces to battle fear-based oppressor gatherings. 